Hi guys, I'm VP. It is the fourth video of our introduction to stock market. In this video, we are going to see what are all the common terms which is used in the stock market. At first video, we have seen the origin of a business and how it coming into the IPO and the secondary market. And in the second video, we have seen how to buy and sell shares and what is the process happening before if you buy sell shares. And in the third video, we see what is NFT and what is the Sensex. And now we are going to see some commonly used terms in the stock market. Okay, let's get started. In the newspaper we are reading and the news we are hearing, we all heard that this is a bullish market and this is a bearish market. Okay, what does that mean? A bullish market represents a uptrend or a, the market which is continuously moving upward and the bearish market indicates a downtrend or the market is keep on falling. This is what represents the bullish market or a bearish market. Okay, let us see an example. Okay, in the screen now we are seeing the Nifty 50 index chart. If you see here from November till today january 2nd the market is keep on moving higher it is what represents the bullish market and the uptrend okay but the thing you should know is it is a short term bullish market because here i have selected the day chart the one single candle which represents a daily price action or a daily price movement okay so that it is a bullish market in a short term if we go and change the chart into monthly then we can see a whole new picture okay now i am selected the nifty 50s monthly chart okay now if you see here from November and December the market is keep on moving higher and it is a starting month of the January and the month just started okay and it is a bullish market. If we change the chart from daily to monthly it seems like a little bit bullishness but if you see in the daily chart then it seems like the market keep on going higher okay. One thing we should check before analyzing the chart is what at what time frame we are seeing the market whether we are seeing in daily or monthly okay if you see in the daily chart if the market goes higher it is a bullish market and if you see the market is keep on falling down then it's a bearish market irrespective of the time period which we are watching okay if you see in a daily term then in short term the market is bullish and if you are seeing that chart in the monthly term then the market is bullish in a very long time okay what we are seeing here is from 2020 after the coronavirus crash the market is keep on moving higher up to 2022 starting and after that the russia ukraine tension came then the market has corrected a little bit and then the market keep on moving higher and higher and then here and there there is a little bit of correction okay but the overall trend is bullish in the long term view okay now let us show you a long term bearish market okay now we are seeing the timeline from uh, 1999 to 2014 okay if you see here in 2008 the financial crisis has come and then if you see the chart it is in monthly time frame and then the market started falling it is a bearish market and the market keep on falling down in the monthly chart itself from 2008 starting till the 2009 and to the mid of 2010 the market doesn't even touch the 2008 highest price and the market the highest is the highest taken out only after five years that is after 2014 only it is the long term bearish market okay and the prices keep on falling down it represents the long term bearish market okay and then there is a another type of market which is called as consolidation market okay let me show you the consolidation market is otherwise called as a sideways market okay right now i have the settings of the nifty 50s weekly time frame chart now if you see here from the 2018 september to 2019 september the market is clearly on a sideways but sideways with a positive bias okay the sideways market is nothing but market which doesn't move significantly upwards or significantly downwards rather than the market's movement will be very gradual and gentle okay if the gradual and gentle movement towards upward means they will say consolidation to upwards and it is called the consolidation to upwards if you see here the market doesn't make a bigger move like what we are seeing now the market is like it is going gradually higher it is called consolidation to higher okay and the vice versa if the market is trading within the box then it is called as purely consolidation and if a market is trading with the bias of consolidation to little bit downside then it is called as a consolidation to downside market okay now we have seen that there are three types of market the first one is bullish market or uptrend market the second one is bearish market or a downtrend market and third one is the consolidation market in that consolidation market there are two types the first one is consolidation with the positive bias and the consolidation with the negative bias and the one thing we should know is at which time frame we are watching the market okay now let us see what is a 52 week high and 52 week low and the share is traded at 100 rupees and the share is traded before the 100 rupees also and after the 100 rupees price also okay now for the last 52 weeks which is the highest price point that is called 52 week high okay and similarly in the last 52 weeks which is the lowest point let's say the 75 rupees is the price and for the last 52 weeks 
which is the lowest point it is called as 52 week lowest point okay now if you read an article or news that they will say the market crossed the 52 week high mark that means current trading price which is taken out the 52 week high mark it is also considered as a bullish sign for the stock okay now if the price of the stock which is traded or crossed below the 52 week low mark then it is considered to be a little bit bad sign for the stock because 52 weeks it is the lowest point and the stock is going to trade below the 52 week point so it is considered to be a bearish sign for the stock okay it is called as 52 week high or a 52 week low it is nothing but the highest point which is traded in the last 52 weeks and the lowest point which is traded in the last 52 weeks if the current market price which is crossed the last 52 weeks high then it is considered to be bullish and if the current market price which is passing below the 52 weeks low then it is considered to be a bearish okay now let us see what is a all time high and all time low okay the all time high is the highest point for the share at its lifetime okay and the all time low value is the lowest value of the stock okay we have seen what is 52 week high 52 week low and all time high and all time low okay the 52 week high and all time high are similar one like that all time low and the 52 week are a similar one the main difference is the time frame for last 52 weeks which is the highest point is the 52 week high and the, for the last 52 weeks which is the lowest point is the 52 week low and for the lifetime of the stock which is the highest point is the all time high and for the lifetime which is the lowest point of the stock it is the all time low okay now let us see what is a long position and what is a short position okay a long positions generally we can take in the cash market as well as the derivative market a cash market going long is buying the share by giving the full amount of money and in derivative market going long is buying the futures of the company okay but the main difference from the cash market and the derivative market is cash market whenever you want to sell you can sell even after 10 years 20 years okay but for the derivative market there will be a specific expiry date now let us consider in 2024 there are 12 expiries or 12 monthly expiries okay if you are buying the jan month future then it means you are in a long position for the jan month at the end of the january 2024 you should tend to close your position and you should move on okay but you are compelled here to close your position at january 2024 because that is the last trading day for the futures okay these are the way that you can take a long position one in the cash market and the second one is at the derivative market okay now for a short position the short position is nothing but at first you are selling the stock and after that you are buying that stock okay but likewise in the cash market you cannot sell and hold your stock rather than you, you are compelled to sell your stock and buy that stock within the trading day itself okay within the trading day itself it is the first option the main difference between the cash market of the long position and short position is in the long position you can buy the shares by giving that money and you can hold the shares as long as how much period you want but if you are creating a short position in the cash market then you are forced to close your position within the trading day itself okay but you have the alternate option of second one derivatives that is f and o features and options okay now let us consider you are selling your futures twice in the long position you also have the expiries for the futures okay we are seeing that there are 12 expiries in a year and if you are selling the jan month futures then you are taking that share which you don't have and you are holding that position for that month okay in the long position you can buy the shares and carry as, as long as you want but you cannot sell that share and carry as long as you want in the cash market rather than we should close in the intraday but in the futures market you can sell the share and you can close at the expiry date okay? it is the long position and the short position okay so let us see what is the term square of means a square off is nothing but closing all the existing positions you have buy the share and you can square off the position by selling that share if you have short positions in the share then you can square off the positions by buying that share okay the squaring off is nothing but closing all your existing positions okay this video we have seen what is the bullish market bearish market and the consolidation market in that there are two types consolidation with the positive bias and the consolidation with the negative bias and we have seen what is the 52 week high 52 week low and all time high and all time low and also we have seen what is the long position and short position and what is the squaring of a position okay in the next video we can see what are the charges which is applicable while we are buying and selling a share till then stay tuned thank you for watching